friends and elders. Good morning. My name is Imus, and today I will be talking about the human being and the environment. The earth is what we all have in common, says Wendell Berry, a renowned environmental activist and cultural critic. Simply, that is what the environment is. It is something animals, plants, humans, all of us were given to take care and live in. It is something common between our differences. For generations, humans have had an eco-friendly relationship with the Earth. Although lately, this past green relationship has been clouded with grey clouds. Climate change has always been a relevant topic in forms of media, debates, interviews and huge events. Humans impact the environment in many ways such as overpopulation, pollution, and the burning of fossil fuels. This has triggered bigger problems, such as, such as climate change and global warming. As today, the 5th of June, is Environmental Day, we can see many discussions about this topic. We are always promoting the idea of climate change, but are we taking any genuine action? It's high time. We need to go back to the basics. We are living in the world that is well developing in the blink of an eye. Progress and development is inevitable. George Bernard Shaw says, progress is impossible without change. And if we cannot change our minds, we cannot change anything. We need to change our minds. If we want to attempt to tackle huge environmental problems, the first change should take place within ourselves. Deep, dark forests, fragrant flowers, and waterfalls cascading with crystal clear water. These are only some of the beauties of our natural environment. Although day by day, we are losing a fragrant flower, a green tree. The crystal clear water is losing its color. If we don't act now, all of this is gonna disappear. We can start now by using reusable resources, such as driving an electric car or using solar panels. Or, or you can do something simple, like disposing waste properly or using paper instead of plastic. The most simplest would be adapting the three R's in our life. The three R's are three rules that we should follow to preserve the earth for future generations. They are reduce, reuse, and recycle. By adapting these three rules, we can continue to nurture our eco-friendly relationship with the Earth. The first change should always take place within ourselves, our family, our schools, and our community. Us living this message will encourage others to follow. As today is Environmental Day, let's pledge to make the world a better place. Thank you.